Well, it's 5 a.m. Uh, finally got a break in the rain, which is good timing because I had to go to the privy. I do have my umbrella, so it made it very comfortable, and it wasn't pouring at the time. It was just kind of dripping a little bit. I just checked my forecast from my hourly screenshots because yesterday, uh, just before I left, it had changed a little bit and I hadn't really looked at it until now. Um, it is actually supposed to rain until 4 a.m. and it's 5 a.m. so it's still raining a little bit, but uh, it's supposed to start slowing down or stopping now. This is when the temperature starts dropping and I just looked at my thermometer and now it says 12.6 degrees, 95% humidity. So. The humidity is going down a little bit and the temperature is starting to drop. Um, it's 5 a.m. between now and 9 a.m. The temperature is going to go down to from 12 to 6. Feels like 2. And then 8 o'clock the sun's supposed to come out for a couple hours and then it's supposed to be cloudy for a bit and then it's supposed to come back out at 2. So we'll see how all that goes. Hopefully uh, it's okay. Um, I don't mind the cold that much as long as it's not pouring rain while it's two degrees. That's not comfortable. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen. And uh, I'm gonna go back to sleep for a little bit. Well, it's 6 a.m. and the temperature has dropped three degrees in the last hour. <laughs> I can really feel it like going down. Um, it has stopped raining though, so that's good. I'm just going to run out and go pee real quick and then I'm going to have a little nap. I was editing pictures for the last hour. <laughs> Got some really good stuff on the portages. I'm really happy with it. Well, the moon is back. Uh, I just came out to pee real quick and I saw a glimpse of it through the trees. I can't uh, get a great shot of it, but there it is and it's nice and bright. Ooh, I'm getting really cold. I got to put something else on now. All right, I came up to the front of the campsite to actually get a better shot here, but uh, it's still, still obstructed. So let the stars out and uh, I'm shivering. I gotta go put something else on. Oh. All right, there it is. <laughs> I came to take a look at the front of the campsite to see if I could see it and uh, yep. It's really bright and super pretty. Stars are out still. It's just after 6 a.m. Um, I know I'm really chilly, so I'm going back to the tent. I tied up the other side of the canoe, even though the winds have died down now, but you never know. Ooh, okay. Off to my sleeping bag. I need to get warm. <laughs> Well, I left the tent for 12 minutes to go film the moon and tie up the other side of the canoe and the temperature has gone down another degree. It is now 8.6. It has dropped uh, four, over four degrees in the last hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't know if the phone's picking that up, but there's a woodpecker very close to me, pecking away at a tree. Uh, it is 7.57, and the sun was supposed to rise at 7.47. So um, I'm going to get up and go take a look and see if I can see anything and uh, start my day. It is now 7 degrees. Doesn't give the feels like temperature on here, but there isn't really wind in my tent, so I'm gonna go see see what's going on outside and uh, let's go. All right, just came out to check out the shelter. Everything looks good. Put the chair back together and brought it out. I left it out on my last trip and it got covered in frost and it was soaking wet when I got up, so I figured I would put it away and put it in the tent. Um, so that was helpful. Um, so I did that. Just brought my stuff out here and I'm going to go down to the water and fill up my bottle and uh, apparently the sun is supposed to come up over there at 107 degrees so I'm going to go uh, see if I can get some kind of a view out over there. All right so 107 degrees is right about here and unfortunately 
The sun is not out, it's behind some clouds, but it looks like it's partly cloudy, so maybe it'll come out soon. Um, just walked along, there's a little trail here that goes from the side where the canoe is, and uh, just walking along it. Look at this tree. I don't know how long it's been down like that. It's obviously been a bit because it looks like somebody tried to get a piece of wood out of here to use to burn. This is definitely a cut, which is probably like the sunrise viewing spot, maybe. And just straight down, so. Nope, maybe not. <laughs> here. It's there somewhere over there. Oh, there we go. it's 8 30. You can see the sun is trying to poke out now from the clouds. Uh, I walked all the way around the other side of the island and I managed to find a few good pieces uh, and all this little stuff. I just put it in the, the top fire pit because why not get some air there at least. Um, both of the bigger pieces are wet uh, but I'm hoping that they're dry inside and I can kind of prop them up around the fire pit while uh, I'm burning some other stuff and they'll dry out enough to burn. This is what I have left from what was here yesterday. I didn't use very much wood at all. I'm very, very good with making a little bit of wood last a long time. <laughs> uh, I still have all that. It's probably almost half of what was underneath the bench here. Well, the forecast said it would be six degrees this morning. Feels like two, and uh, there it is. 6.7 on my thermometer, 94% humidity. Humidity is going down. Uh, it doesn't feel nearly as damp as it did earlier, uh, and especially yesterday when it was raining. So that's good. Hopefully the sun's gonna come out and warm everything up. I'm actually quite comfortable. I'm still wearing my sleeping tights. Uh, these are fleece lined tights that I got online. I absolutely love them. They're like the warmest things ever. Um, and I got a little hole in these ones. So these are now for camping. And then last year I went and I bought two more pairs. I have a gray pair that I wear during bug season. And then I have a nice pair that I wear for work. Because <laughs> I just absolutely love them. They're so comfy cozy. I think I'm going to uh, go get my bear vault and get breakfast started. Woohoo! There it is, the sun. So happy to see it. I went to get a picture and then I went down the wrong trail. And then I thought, oh no, I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> Cause I don't know how long it's gonna be here. Probably not very long. There's quite a few clouds in the sky. <sighs> there we go. Oh yay, it's lovely. Thank you, it's nice to see you. Actually, the sky is cloudy here, but it looks like it's clearing up, so that's good. All right, I just processed all that wood. Most of it's pretty wet. It's probably half of it will burn, the other half, I don't know. So I laid it out on top of the rock, and then I'll, I'll uh, try to keep it dry somehow. I was playing Where's the Bear Vault <laughs> this morning. Uh, I knew that I went down a path last night and dropped it off somewhere, but I couldn't remember exactly where. Usually I, I mark the ground, like I'll score it with my feet a little bit. Just in the mulch, like if you clear the leaves. Oh, my hair looks so red here. If you clear the leaves there and just kind of make like a dirt line, it helps you to see when you go to get it. Um, but because it rained so much and the ground was so saturated, I couldn't do that. And uh, I was just like, oh, I'll just put it over here. So you know, I've lost it again. Uh, so while I was out looking for it, I kept seeing pieces of wood and I'm like, oh, I'll pick these up on the way. And I just cleaned my hands. They get so dirty at this time of year. Everything is soaking wet. The wood is wet, your hands get wet. 
all the like black gooky brown all the stuff comes off of them all over your hands and it's really messy so I went to wash my hands so I could start making breakfast and then I was like oh I need the bear balls so while I'm out looking for the bear balls I start seeing pieces of wood so I pick up the wood I finally find the bear vaults but then my hands are full so I can't take the bear vault so I go drop off the wood and now I once again find the bear vault so I'm gonna grab it and then I'm gonna make breakfast my stomach is like rumbling oh the temperature has gone down 5.5 <laughs> 5, 96% humidity uh, there's the sun it's been out quite a bit um, it's not on me yet could have kind of went over somewhere there to sit in it but um, I made up this kind of faux kitchen over here all these little stumps are lying around so I thought I would cook on top of it instead of like bending over down to the ground and doing it um, so I'm just getting everything ready and then I will start making breakfast well my pork roast stew wasn't feeling very cold I mean it's five degrees out so I think even just sitting in the bear vault just like that it should be fine. It's already cooked, so and I'm eating it like later today. But I get paranoid about food. I have enough food issues, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna put it in the water. The water's really cold, and uh, put a bunch of rocks on top of it. So I've just got it here where I had the canoe yesterday, and uh, I put it in four Ziploc bags, and then uh, I buried it under these rocks in the water. So hopefully that'll keep it cool. I'm just prepping my breakfast stuff and um, my woodpecker has returned. I don't know exactly where he is, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, there he is. I see it. Looks like a pileated. It's the only kind I know, so that's good. Can you see him? Oh, there's two of them. Be a good tree. There goes the other one. <gasps> it's so dark in my phone. I can't see if you can see it, but I can see it. Well, hello. I'm just uh, starting to make my breakfast. I just got everything ready. I went to go butter the English puffins or put some butter in the pan so that you know I could brown these. And uh, I already put butter on them at home <laughs> when it was warm at my house and the butter was soft. So I'm quite pleased about that. All right, well, what I'm making for breakfast today is, as you can see, an English muffin. I'm just kind of browning it, toasting it, frying it, I guess. I'm going to put some strawberry jam on that. Inside here I have four eggs. I'm going to use two today and two tomorrow. Or try to, I guess, just pour half. Um, and then I have here some chopped bacon. That's going to go in my omelette today um, with some cheese. And then I have some full bacon strips, which I'm going to make a like scrambled egg bacon cheese wrap tomorrow. So, yeah. Usually I have oatmeal, but I can't eat oatmeal right now. I can't eat anything fibrous. I'm really trying to get this situation that I've had going on for a year under control. And it's been really difficult because I don't really know what's bothering me and what's not. <clears throat> yeah. That's definitely nice and brown. Uh, this has been pretty much cold up until when I went to bed last night. It was on pork roast which is frozen which is not anymore but it was all right ready we're gonna flip Opa, beauty I don't even know if I get a one piece or I'm pretty impressed with that Put some cheese on it this is uh, lactose-free cheese that I've been using recently, and uh, I've, I've usually, I usually only consume old cheddar, but I went to the lactose-free, and it seems to be even better for me, so I've been eating that.
Breakfast is served. Well, in comparison to all the accesses on the portages, uh, the access for this campsite is just awful. Um, I've looked at four or five different places where I could launch the boat, and they all just suck so badly. Um, I'm trying not to put on my water socks and my water sandals because my feet are just going to get really cold because I'm going to be in the boat. I'm not going to be walking around a lot. And uh, I already put my rain pants on over top of my fleece tights that I sleep in. Now, I know you might be thinking, well, those are your sleeping clothes. You maybe shouldn't wear those during the day because you want them nice and dry and cozy for bed. But I also have a pair of fleece lined snow pants in my tent um, tucked away in a Ziploc bag. All right, it is quarter to 11. colorless on this lake except for um, by the portage. I'm assuming that's where the portage is. Looks like there's a nice group of tamaracks there all aglow. No, oh, this one. Oh my gloves are just killing me. Right there. Well the wind's picking up a bit but the good news is that I have a headwind. Um, that's good because I can paddle against it as far as I want to go and then I can just let the wind blow me back to my campsite. Probably by the time I go back to my campsite it'll have changed because that always happens to me. But I, don't know. It'd be nice. I do have a spare paddle. Somebody asked me that. They didn't actually ask me. I get these weird comments on YouTube and I don't know maybe I just read them weird but it's just like hi great video. You don't have another paddle? Question mark. Like, I don't know. I'm like, uh, yes, I do. Actually, I have a telescopic paddle under my seat. It's lashed in there, and it's there on every trip with me. Uh, I don't take it out. I don't use it, but it's there in case I need it. So, just in case anyone was wondering, uh, you can find all of the gear and everything that I use on my trips on my website at camperchristina.com and some of them have links if they're current things that you can still get just so you can check them out further and get more information so hopefully that helps all right slowly but surely the boat is filling up i don't know if all of it is good some of it's a bit wet but i think some of it will burn nicely i'd like to find a nice little stash of driftwood somewhere washed up on a beach. Uh, this is the portage here somewhere. Uh, it's a 1500 meter into Ralph Bice. Here's the start of the uh, 1500 meter. This is 1455, but might as well call it a 1500. Uh, I was thinking of maybe stopping here, but it looks super swampy. And I don't have my shoes and my water socks on. I don't want to get my uh, dry shoes wet, so I might just skip it. So if you're looking on the map, this is just uh, the campsite to the right of the 1455 meter portage in the rock place. All right, there it is. Uh, fire pit area looks pretty open, but there's quite a few trees around it. This fire pit on like mine kind of has a nice view of the, the water here. I don't really have that. I don't want to look too closely because I don't want to feel the need to go get my stuff and move, <laughs> which I could do. I mean, totally, but I don't want to do all that work. All right, here's the next campsite. Uh, 
from the portage. It is the second one to the right on the opposite side of the waterway. And uh, this one as well is very exposed and open. Um, again, potential to tarp, lots of trees around the fire pit, but I think I would have gotten um, a lot of exposure on this campsite in the weather last night, yesterday, and it would have made it more miserable. If the weather is bad, it's not that good to be that exposed. So I do like both of those campsites better than the one I'm at, but not for the time of year that I'm here. Well, the sun hasn't come out yet, but it also hasn't started raining and the wind died right down. There aren't even any more gusts right now, so it's been nice and calm and it's a good temperature. It's, you know, it's cool out, but I don't really feel it. I'm looking over here at the tree line and I'm not sure if it's going to come out on the camera, but there's like an invisible line along the bottom. It's about maybe three or four feet up from all the trees where all the trees are kind of cut off. I'm wondering if the water's low and that's like where the water normally is. It's really strange. I was looking at it and I'm like, why does this look so weird over here? What is going on? And I'm like, oh, there's like a line. Well, it looks like I'm just reaching the end of the waterway here. Uh, there is a portage, 350 meters. Sounds like there's some waterfalls here, so I think I'll get out and take a peek, see what I can see. All right, I feel like I, I have to check out this portage just to see uh, if I can see anything that's going on here. It sounds awesome. Edge on the side here. If the rocks will allow me. Alright, it's 20 after 12 and uh, just here at the portage. Took me a minute to get my land legs back. <laughs> I've been in the boat for so long, it feels like uh, my legs fell asleep on me or something. I have a salami sandwich on white bread for lunch some butter on it. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the bread that I got from the store the other day was so fresh and so soft and uh, it's been really really good. Just had a Snickers a little while ago. I was getting a bit hangry. Oh yeah look at this. Beautiful. I'm gonna get a better shot and I'll show you. really pretty. I'm glad I came up here and took a look at this. Nice little waterfalls here. Just a short walk from the start of the portage. Since the portage is so short, I decided to walk the whole thing and there's a nice waterfall at the end of it as well. Quite beautiful. And the sun has come out, so now I'm anxious to get back in the canoe and get on the water because I could use a little sunshine work. Alright, there's a couple of little trails that go down to see different parts of the um, rapids, waterfalls. Uh, so I went through all of those and Got some nice pictures and videos there. It's really, really pretty here, and especially with the sun shining now, it's so much better. It just changes everything when that sun comes out. Just for me, anyways. I mean, I still love being out and doing stuff, but it's just so much nicer with the sunshine. Anyway, back in the boat I go. Well, the sun went away just as quickly as it came, unfortunately. 
there's still lots of big clouds coming through and where I am on the water, I'm actually even in the shade if the sun were to come out, but it's not out. Which is fine, but it was nice to see it for a moment. It would have been nice to see it for like a little longer. All right, it is quarter after one and I'm just paddling past this area here where I hear the rushing water coming from, which I'm assuming is what I'm hearing at camp. Oh, you can see him. There's a little waterfall in there. Isn't that cute? It's quite loud. Well, I'm glad I came over to check that out. That was pretty cute. And the campsite is just over here on this island to my left. According to my map, I just have a topo map on my phone that I uploaded into my events app. And um, it shows there's a campsite on the side of the island, the opposite side that I paddled past uh, on the way out. So this side of the island to my left, right over here. And it also looks uh, like it's got a fun access. <laughs> so it was a little bit lighter. Right. Okay. Don't fall over, fall. Get to most of the wood here, and then I can pull it up to the back. it up to the tree here just in case just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere It's quarter to two. I've unloaded the boat. This is all the firewood that I picked up in the canoe this morning. It's quite a good amount there. Not all of it will be burnable, but most of it will be pretty good. And then I've got some other stuff there. This is all the stuff I collected this morning. That was pretty wet. I just kind of laid it out on this rock here to get some wind and air on them and dry them out a bit. Um, and then I still have a little bit over here from what was here when I got here and then uh, got some new sticks and stuff that I've collected there. Basically got stuff all over. <laughs> I have to process all this still and uh, it's going to take a while to cut through this piece but it's nice and dry on the inside for the most part. I cut a smaller piece off of it so I'll probably cut that into three pieces if I can. It takes a while to get through it with the saw but I'm still using my awesome saw from Sulik 46 uh, right here. Super, super light, amazing saw. It's a prototype. Uh, I believe the uh, actual saw for sale is going to be coming up on Steve's website soon. It's uh, Sulik46.com. And um, I am also using his uh, grill, which is also a prototype. 
and uh, super super light somewhere around four grams and uh, comes apart and goes in a little tube so that's awesome uh, the sun went away that big huge nasty cloud came and hopefully it peeks out again soon I set up my chair over here in the sun or where the sun might be if it does come back out and I'm gonna have some lunch I'm hungry Ah, my back gets sore from processing wood and that. So, plus I didn't bring the seat because it was soaking wet. So I left it here to dry and it's actually dry now, so that's good. Uh, some blue skies coming in. The sun's gonna come out soon. I situated my chair here in hopes that I'll get to sit in the sunshine. Uh, my thermometer says it is 7.4 degrees and 67% humidity, so. Hopefully that means no more rain is coming and it's drying up out here. I'm gonna grab my lunch. I checked on my pork roast stew. It's still sitting there in the water underneath the rocks. Hopefully none of those Ziploc bags leaked or at least one of them didn't because that might be gross. <laughs> All right, I cut it in quarters just to make it easier. I thought if I was out paddling or exploring or whatever, I could just kind of grab a quarter at a time. So uh, it's just some white bread that I cut with my bread slicer and uh, some German salami and there's some butter on it. Oh, come on, buddy, you're so close. Mm. Oh, it's 20 after two. Had my sandwich and then I had a chocolate covered Oreo and some chocolate chunk uh, cookies and I'm feeling quite good. The sun's finally come out and I don't want to say to stay. There's still clouds coming and going in between but it's been out more than it has for most of the day just in the last like half an hour at least. Uh, see and there's a big cloud coming now. But the clouds are lightening up. They're more like white puffy clouds and they don't look threatening at all. I'm still gonna leave the tarp up till just before bed. I'll probably take it down before I go to sleep, depending, I don't know. Also be good to make my breakfast under there if it's raining in the morning and it's not like I'm in a big rush. It's not gonna take me long to get out. It took me so long to get in because I was filming everything. I was just sitting up there in the sunshine and I heard some loud splashing. I'm gonna say beaver tail is what it sounded like, but whew. I guess that was that. <laughs> oh my gosh, it scared me. I heard this loud, like, it sounded like someone was swimming and they were kicking their legs. It was like, plunk, plunk, plunk. Sunshine is glorious. Thank you so much. I think the two loons I saw yesterday, the one that was making me, um, just went under making that sound like it was wounded. It's out here. I was sitting up in the sunshine there in the sheltered spot and um, I heard him calling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Sounded like a whiny wounded loon. So I don't know. I hope he's okay or she. Went under and now they're gone. I thought maybe it was calling me for help. I would have helped it. Oh, <laughs> I'm pooped. I processed all that wood that was there. I left some of it there, some of it there. Got some of it over here, some of it on top, some of it over there, some up there, some in the fire pit. <laughs> um, and I just have this big piece to cut through. I started sawing through it and I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I did all the other stuff first and it's like the last thing, but I do have one of the bigger pieces still here that's already cut and that one won't take me much longer. I'm gonna decided to cut this one in three to get more wood. It's got this really interesting fungi on it. Little, little red dot things on it. I hope they're not poisonous or anything because I had my hand on it. <laughs> hello, hello. 
It is quarter after three and I'm sitting out here on the front porch uh, in the sunshine. Uh, clouds of getting, the clouds have been getting a bit smaller and the sun's been out a little longer and the wind has died down, which is the most important. Um, so it's not as cold to sit out here now as it was a little while ago. I finished all my firewood processing, so um, I don't have any more chores to do. I had some chocolate and uh, some goldfish crackers, a little snack. And I'm um, just sitting here listening to my audiobook, enjoying the beautiful view and watching the loons and the ducks and feeling the sun on my face. And it's a great day here in Algonquin Park. I can't believe it's October 28th. It's insane. All right, it's quarter to four. I've got a little fire going. Actually, it wasn't too hard to get started today. Hopefully, it keeps going. Um, I know not all of the wood is extremely dry, so. Hopefully it's good enough to burn. And uh, the sun has gone away. I was sitting out on the front porch there for a while and then the winds came back and the sun was gone and it was just too cold. Well, I got some water in my pot there. It's about half full. I'm gonna make a nice big hot chocolate in my pot and uh, sit here by the fire. It's pretty good still. Temperature is six and it's supposed to be six feels like two with the wind chill but not too much wind coming up in here and it's not too bad right now so it's all good Jumbo, that's a jumbo size. Uh, smoke, so much smoke. Get out. Well, I'm back in the sunshine. <laughs> I uh, came down to drink my hot chocolate. The sun was out and I was like, I gotta go. And of course I come down here, I sit down, I take a couple sips. And uh, now there's a black cloud coming in. Uh, I think there's some waterfalls over there as well across from me because uh, I keep hearing like rushing water over there. So there must be something over there. Anyway, that's all that's going on right now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.